Hey guys, so today we are back in the kitchen cooking an amazing new recipe inspired and challenged by Sainsbury's. Today we're having a pie off. Yeah, pie off. I'm cooking a beef stout pie. Are you? I'm going to be cooking a more lightweight version of a pie with lentils, spinach, ricotta and feta. Right, let's get started. Yeah. You're going first because yours is more complicated. Okay, so I'm first going to get my beef and my flour. I'm cutting the beef into sort of thumb length sections and then I'm going to get a bit of flour in the bowl and I'm going to massage the beef in the flour. Oh, you know. Yeah. So I now need to sear the beef. Okay. So I'm going to turn my little hob on. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Because all you want it to do now is that you just catch the edge, you just want to sear it. So you're not wanting to like cook it through. Really? Yeah. So it locks in the flavour. Right, so now I'm going to get my onion. I'm going to chop this into sort of small pieces and then going to get my carrot. I'm going to dice that into fairly large pieces but still kind of nicer that they don't disintegrate. So I'm now going to add half of my stout, the onions and the carrots all into the pan on the heat. You're obviously using the same pan that you seared the beef in and what you want to do is you want to scrape all the tastiness off the bottom of the pan because that will add to the flavour of this delicious pie. That term, the tastiness. The tastiness, get the tastiness, get the tastiness off, off the pan. that pan. It's a very technical term. Uh, well, whilst I'm doing this, what are you doing? I'm going to take my big pan here and I'm going to melt some butter in it and I'm going to fry up my onions and my garlic. I feel like we're kind of in a winter wonderland right now of rich, beefy, berry food. I'm going to put in some spinach. It's now garlic and mushroom chopping time. Okay, so now I've chopped those up, I'm going to add this back in and I'm then going to let this sort of soften for an extra couple of minutes before I add the rest of the stock from the beef. So whilst Mike's doing that, I am going to take the spinach and the onions and all this yummy stuff and pop it into a bowl. And then I'm going to toast some pine nuts for a couple of minutes and whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to pop in the ricotta and the feta and the lentils into this mixture and mix it all. Your uh, nuts are not far and off. And then, right? once they're toasted, Mike is being my assistant, um, you can throw those in here as well. So that is it for the filling once you've mixed it all together and I think it looks pretty tasty. It's looking quite gooey and cheesy, which is always a good thing in my book. So once we've done that, all we need to do is prepare the pastry and then we fold it all up and we're done. And Mike is about one hour and 45 minutes behind. Whatever. <laughs> right, back to me now. My mushrooms, carrots and everything is nicely softened. So I'm now going to add the stock, the rest of the stout and the beef. And in go the herbs. Let's not forget about the thyme and the bay leaf now. It's lid on and it's let it simmer because obviously the longer you take with like a meat that needs to break down, the better it gets. Time for a bit of pastry action. So we're going to get some pastry. Now... Puff pastry, not puff less. pastry. Okay, so I'm going to roll this out so that I can cut a lid shape out of the top. Obviously I don't need it all because I've only got one pie. It sounds like my tasty stew has stewed itself. Really? So I'm now going to... Finally! Finally, two hours later, pull that off the hob. So I'm popping the jelly in. Red Pop. currant jelly. Red currant. Right, so now that's ready, I'm now going to put the filling into the dish. I'm going to put a little bit of egg around the edge. Then I'm going to add the pastry on top. I'm then going to decorate it and add more egg. And then it's ready to go in the oven. So whilst Mike's pie is going into the oven, mine takes about half the time to cook. So we're going to make them up and then put them in there. And hopefully they should be done at the same time. But I'm going to melt the rest of this and use it for the phyllo pastry. So I'm going to take the first sheet and I'm going to paint it with butter. I'm going to put the next sheet on top of it, but I'm going to do it slightly diagonal because I'm going to pick them up and make a parcel. And I'm going to butter this one too. Once we've done that, we take then what do we do? the last sheet and then put it diagonal again. We're not going to butter this one, but we're going to add the filling and then we're going to wrap it all up and make a parcel. So that is it. My pies are done and I think they look way better than Mike's. I don't they know about way better, but I think you've done a good job. Fabulous. These are going to join Mike's pie in the oven. We're going to wait for about 12 minutes and then we will see who is the winner. Here they are, the moment of truth. Yeah, pie time. One of mine has had a little explosion. Oh, mine's not. Mine's perfect. Oh, yours look at that. actually looks like it's perfect. Yeah! <laughs> Mine's good. But we haven't tried them yet. Right, so I'm going to take a bite of my pie. 
to say it does look good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Nice good pie. That is really good. <laughs> Good job, mate. Let's get in. That's good. Not bad. Mm. Pretty damn tasty. Considering it's veggie, yeah. normally you are a big meat eater. Well, it's a good pie. That is it's a very good. good pie. It's not as good as my pie, but it's a very good pie. I think they're both good for in different their, reasons. In their own <laughs> individual way. So that is it for this video. We really hope you guys liked it. If you have a favourite pie, let us know in the comment section below, and you never know, maybe we'll be making it in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe for a brand new recipe every single Wednesday and we'll see you again very soon. Bye. Goodbye.